Okay, so Lucas, we're back. It's me, you, Kratos, and the boy. And I've had some feedback on the earlier episodes. Um, one guy is very annoyed that we're talking during cutscenes, so I have to make sure to do that more. Other than that, okay. I <laughs> Yeah! Okay. Carl, what you should do is talk more and turn the subtitles off. Yeah, just turn them off completely. Hmm. Really, Atreus? I thought you should shoot these. Or I yeah, it's weird wrong? that like he, he can shoot them, but not Stuck. when they're in certain places, or too big, or whatever. Oh, it's the one behind, isn't it? Though? There's like the specific ones that you can hit. Kratos, let go. I love all Kratos like an old man. <laughs> Who just doesn't understand. Yeah, you've got to specifically hit the glowing bit. Oh, yeah. Of God, course. do you hate That's that in video yeah. games? You can only hit this one specific part. It's like you can't hit the red crystal. You've got to hit the red glowy crystal, Carl. There we go. Oh, man. Oh, for fuck's sake. That'll be as well, because we spent all that time last time at the end of the recording. Oh, I can't wait to do some good combat now. Now we've got this good combat shit. <laughs> the first two enemies I've got to fight are flying ones that you can't combo. Oh, God. Get back here, little bitch. Everyone loves flying enemies, Carl. They do. It's rotate. Twirl. Like, is there a more universal thing in video games than fuck flying enemies? Also, I keep pressing right trigger to run because I play Spider-Man last. <laughs> so that's why I keep just randomly just swinging the axe. Oh, got it. Luke, he tried so hard. What a, fuck fuck you what a loser. Oh, man. At least we went out drinking, Carl. Yeah. Like, do you know what? I respect that. So I like that. <laughs> Who else have I been, my friend? Let's go, boy. Uh, good, yeah. Like, other than, you know, the, the dark times. The dark times. Like, we're in the dark times here as well. <gasps> we are. <laughs> Yeah, I'll leave that there. But yeah, I keep pressing right trigger to run. Mm. Because it's like, oh yeah, I play Spider-Man last, so Kratos just keeps swinging the axe or punching things. Do you know what? Fits Kratos. But, um, oh, let's go, Lucas. So, oh, fun fact, this will be the last recording before we should know the PlayStation 5 details. Probably. Oh, okay, cool. So we'll actually be able to discuss that next recording. Session. Until then, then. We should talk about God of War and how sick it is. But, yeah, like, I bet they're going to show off God of War like hey. They better do. Oh, I don't even know how many God of War games there's actually been at this point. Uh, quite a few, but I think there's another trilogy at least planned. I would imagine that it's got to be a trilogy. Like, even if we don't get a God of War 3 oh. Ragnarok, like, what are they doing? Yeah, like, they don't call it that. Specifically call it Ragnarok. You yeah. had the theory, though, of oh, the Lego break. Oh, oh yeah. You can see how little I use Rage. That did nothing. <laughs> yeah. Like, um, they're probably going to call the second one Ragnarok. Because that's too strong a subtitle. Yeah, not to use immediately because I don't think any developer could resist using that subtitle. But then the issue Ragnarok's is, how so are you strong. upping Ragnarok in Thanks. a Norse mythology game? Oh, yes, one of these oh. dudes! These dudes are all. You know what, Lucas, as well? That's time. Let's summon the Sex Falcons. Oh, shit, yeah. I've got him. Oh, dog. I love that my son's just coming in with this. <laughs> Here we go. Fuck them up. Oh god, he's so good. So these ones are good just for doing more damage. Go on, Atreus. You're they, what Atreus. They do have nothing on the stun arrows, though. Yeah, let's see what Atreus can do. It's just, it's never not Oh, and he's just, like, the continuous. Just as your fucking execution is cleaving him, he's still shooting yeah. arrows into his back. There we go. Fuck you. Oh. 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 Wait, what? Oh. Yeah! Oh. <laughs> Next gen, motherfuckers! Lucas, we all saw it. Carl, that wouldn't happen if you had an SSD in there. That wouldn't that wouldn't happen if I paid $1,800 to get a graphics card that's bigger than my Xbox. <laughs> oh, man. Like, do you remember that conversation we fucking had? Yeah. Like, on, like, stream, and people were, like, defending it. Of, oh, yeah, it's good, because, like, PC's better. It's like, it costs five times as much. Why would it not be better? And then people are like, yeah, but you, you're forgetting that everyone has a PC, so you're only paying for the graphics card. Like, Not everyone already has a pre-built PC that will work with that brand new graphics card. Uh, but there are people that genuinely were like, arguing that, yeah, yeah, there's no way that anyone has to buy a new PC for that. I was like, how like weirdly just obsessed with this idea are you? Of My just everybody one. has a gaming okay. PC ready. Another. It's because it's people have a complete inability to see things from other people's perspective. Yeah, they do, yeah. It's like, and oh, when you what? tell people, like, oh, but um, this new Xbox Series S is really cool because it's, like, a nice cheap option for people that can't buy 
like the five hundred dollar console, and people and you'll are like, see people go, "Why don't they just save up?" It's because yeah. people want to play it now. Well, why don't you just not play Xbox? It's like huh. I don't get the idea of just like, oh well, um, everybody can afford the the Series X, so I don't get the point of this cheap one. It's like because not everyone has that like four hundred and fifty quid just spare. My favourite one is the people who like very sagely point out. Well, if you don't spend any money, it actually you can save money. So I never fucking knew that. So did you know that Lucas, when you buy, when you factor in the cost of Xbox Live and buying new games all the time, it's actually cheaper to buy a, a PC because over the course of those two three years, you'll spend more money. Did you know, Lucas, that buying things over time costs more money? Apart from with Carl, the Xbox like all access thing. Have you heard about that? Yeah, where it's like for thirty-five dollars a month, you just get a new Xbox and Game Pass and Ultimate and all Xbox Live. But the really hilarious thing you get off. Did you know if you save more yeah. money, you have more money? It's like, oh no, yeah. I know. Like, did you know that um, normally if you buy something outright, it'll be cheaper? Yeah. Like, and it, yeah, but not everybody has five hundred, like a thousand dollars, whatever to spend straight off the bat. Yeah, but Lucas, fuck it, save your money. Like, I do like the opposite argument though of. Oh, um, why won't they tell us how much these consoles are going to cost? I have no idea how much money to save. And it's like, but you know they're going to be around like five, six hundred dollars and you're going to need... Like, it's not as if they're going to turn around and be like, oh, well, don't worry, guys. Um, these PS5s are like 200 quid. I see. I'll get it later. It's like, it's bizarre to me. Like, at least... If you're trying to save up, oh, you know you can't really save up like a good oh! five. Oh shit, I forgot. What they one. only do it once as well, which I like deeply, deeply respect. Like, they the same with they um, know. Last Dead Space. Two. Oh, okay, where well, they only attack you at a workbench once. Once. Just to shit you up for the rest of the game. Because it could happen at any point. I appreciate they only do that once, because they know. Yeah. yeah fuck, you get all my stuff. But yeah, yeah right, um, I am. I'm like. I'm more looking forward to, you know, what we all buy game consoles for, Carl, and that's exciting games. Yeah, playing video games. But uh, I, it was just something incredibly frustrating. So I had the conversation like this with a friend of mine, mm. and I was getting really irate about the idea of, like, he was talking mad shit, oh, man, I can't wait for the next PlayStation because of, like, the haptic feedback in the um, uh, the triggers. And I'm like, I don't give a fuck, mate. I don't care. It's all, the only thing I see about when I see that is that controller is now going to cost, like, an extra 20 quid more for its entire like console generation. For, his, what, a handful of games using it properly? And what his argument was, though, is I don't mind because I can afford that. To which I responded, well, what about parents? Yeah. Like, what about, like, remember when you were a kid and playing video games with your mates and your brothers? Like, yeah, and you take a controller around to the house and I'd have a spare one. That's something that's just going to go away for an entire generation of children. Because, because there's a reason why there's, like, those memes of, like, oh, yeah, we all, we all played as, like, the second player and had to use the Mad Cats controller. Because controls were very expensive. And the Mad Cats ones that like weren't official um, could be like half the price. Because they didn't have to have any like extra stupid patented bullshit in there. It's the like, oh, no. like the, the build quality also just wasn't there, but No it wasn't, like, and they weren't the best option, but you know what? For I'm the sake of like existed. your friend coming round once a month to play with you. Your quiver. Like it was a, an alright option to have. It's alright. I can hold it. Stop. No. So here we go. Father, son, bonding. Malukas, we have to talk throughout all of this, remember? <laughs> of course. We have, to, we have to talk through the cutscenes because, unfortunately, but, there's no other way for people to see these cutscenes yeah. without watching them in our playthrough two years after the game came out. And, oh, like, it's one of those that's just like, man, I would hope that people are here for the commentary and not so much just I want to listen to the story. Also as well, this legendary missile tail arrow, Kratos snaps it and throws it aside. <laughs> like, he could not get, like, see how, like, casually, oh, it's gone. Next gen. I'm still to pissed off. To be fair, though, though these, these are, um, oh, yeah, the snow prints. Yeah, so let's towel off. Oh, go. God. You know, it's like this, like this and, um, this and Red Dead 2 both do the snow prints like, so well. Where you can make the pick. Oh, Lucas, you know exactly what's fucking happening right now, mate. <laughs> there is there is one option I have here, and it is this. Oh, it's the risk, Skull Carl. Okay. Oh. There we go. Fuck you. Oh, oh, oh. 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 The ping pong. Lucas. 
Why would I not? I don't care. I'll take as many hits as you want. Fuck you. Goodbye. So, they go so far. I don't care how many times I get. I'll take it. Oh, right, I'm not stun him. You know what? Let's break his guard. Come on, you want to fight? I love how effortless this is as well, because <laughs> this is just sport for me. Oh, oh Atreus, let's do it. Oh, trip him up. The Sparta kick. Oh, no. Oh. So how many of those went right off? Oh, but Lucas, there's more. Oh, they, yes. they want some. Carl, you Look at my casual way, jog Carl. towards combat as well. It's this casual, just like Kratos dad jog. Do it, swing. Careful. I'm all right, son. <laughs> If there's one person that needs to be careful on these bridges, these guys. Oh. Bless. Oh! Do you know what? Oh. Just, oh. There needs to be more, like, combat encounters in areas like this. Also, Kratos, like, these enemies are strong because he got hit five times. Does it look like my Kratos struggled at all there? No. I was deliberately getting hit to try and figure out the parry timing. Kratos are good. We got this, mate. At least, oh, I'm still pressing right trigger wrong. Cause damn it, Spider-Man! <laughs> uh, right? Yes. Be silent. Oh man. Boy, I had that conversation with a mate, and I was trying to explain to him, like, look, I know that me and you can afford it, but I, I am thinking about, you know, parents who are wanting to buy this for their kids, and then yeah, and like, Christmas I still... still pay 500 fucking quid for the console and to get a second controller. They've got to fork out like another hundred pounds. Uh, yeah, that's the thing is, I'm still trying to like empathize with what was it like to be a kid like when I was growing up. Oh, oh well, you know, we had like a cheap third party second controller, or oh well, I could only afford to buy like you know a couple of games a year because I'd save up my pocket money. Yeah. And that also goes hand in hand with the people that just buy a PC argument of just just buy this thing that costs two hundred pounds more, as if two hundred pounds not a lot of money. Yeah, that idea fucking infuriates me when people so nonchalantly just throw out figures like a hundred dollars as if it's not a big deal. Have you any idea how much money that is to a lot of people? Yeah. Also, Mamiya, I fucking love the guy's voice. The idea, um, you you had a similar thing when you were like. Oh, my PS4 is like taking off, and people like just buy a new one then. <laughs> it's like, just, you, what? What world do you live in where that's an option to you? Like, it's just similar. nice and easy. Like, yeah, just spend the extra 300 quid because your fans a bit loud on your PlayStation. It's like with um, uh, YouTube. Remember when like YouTube um, changed all its system requirement, not re the requirements for monetization? Oh and yeah. Like, you established YouTubers going. Well, it's not a big Very deal because I only made a hundred dollars the first time I got paid off YouTube. Mm -hmm. It's like how out of touch are you with reality where you don't think a hundred dollars is a lot of money? And it's like, man, um, you shouldn't be making these videos for money. Says person with like multiple ads and sponsors in their fucking videos of a million subscribers, and it's like, oh god damn it. Yeah. But I love Mimir as well. This is a super cool like fucking gods, image. The giants and all the creatures like the man worlds. trapped inside a tree. I know every corner of these it's nearly as strong as the man tree from Fallout. They call me Mimir. Smartest man alive. I love his accent. And I have the answer to your uh, can you quickly as well just look up the uh, the actor for this? I think it's uh, uh, yes, Alistair okay. Duncan. I'm just, just to double check that. Okay, there are a few gaps <laughs> it's weird that like such a good character is only in the very end of the game, isn't it? So yeah, we're yeah. about to get through to Jotunheim. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. I can piece it together. Like, we're, we're at the top of the mountain, Carl. It's not that like we're still encountering things that we can't access yet. Nobody there, just like I said. Damn. That's, that's um, stuff post-game, Carl, don't worry. She wanted us to spread her ashes on the highest peak in all the realms. Shout out to Atreus as well for not judging this man who's a tree. The highest peak in all the realms is not here in Midgard. Uh, yeah, Alistair I Duncan, yeah. Alistair Duncan, because uh, no! for people who want to find out more about this game, uh, there is a, a God of War novel which explains Take like the lead up to this and what Kratos was doing between um, the end of God of War 3 and the start of this game. And it's narrated this by that guy. Bridge to oh, sweet. So it, it feels like, oh, it sounds yeah, like Mamiya is like telling you the story of Kratos. Oh, that's so cool. What a cool idea else. that is. That's why I wanted no, to get yeah. the guy's name to give him. That's that. such a nice touch to put in. We have a Bifrost. And I like as well hearing you guys, the, the idea of someone with an accent, this one up with a secret room. like a strong regional exists, accent actually a being a voice actor and, and being a narrator. Because I love Simon Whistler, but he does have like the Dude, most the generic Englishman the voice. Yes. Like, you never get someone like me doing a, um, uh, a narration, would you? <laughs> 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 
Never get someone like you, you, Carl, just no, posting a, a video on YouTube. Open. I love, though, that you still get comments of, like, people, like, yeah, but can we get someone else than Carl on camera? Because, like, <laughs> it's weird that they've only got one host, and Carl's like, I'm the fucking channel. Like, it's my channel. Like, I write the articles, goddammit. Why is he not giving Balder his real name? Because, fuck it, we all know it's Balder. Because, like, Atreus tells you right at the start. Oh, huh? really? The man who cannot be killed. Not even Thor's hammer could free my body from these bonds. But fortunately, you don't need my body. The trick is, we need to find someone. <laughs> I love that little thing. He's like, no weapon can cut it. And the kid's like, I bet mine will. <laughs> that's such a kid thing to do, isn't it? She knows the old ways. And she'll help. Like telling a kid, like, oh yeah, and this is wet paint, and they've got to touch it to make sure. Yeah. He tortures me. I'm like, there's no way you can cut through this tree. Well, my tiny dagger might. Also, as well, this line reading is horrendous. Um, well, while this horrendous line reading happens, I'm going to come back in a sec. Oh, you're going to gone blurry. Oh, okay, sorry. This. Uh, this isn't living. You back, baby? Very well. There we go. There we oh, go. I can't watch this. Oh, don't, oh. <laughs> Lucas, you're going to miss the best bit where he cuts his head off. Brother. Oh, no, I'm back. I'm back. You okay. Can't resurrect me. There's something you Lucas, you're going to miss like the best line reading. Why? The longer you oh. wait to tell him his true nature, the more damage you do. He will resent you, and you may lose him forever. There is much about me I would not have him know. So you value your privacy more than your son? I'm going to cut off your head now. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. Because you know as well Kratos is thinking. Do I? Yeah. I, and you got it like bang on the money last time. I went to previous recordings and were like, the only time Kratos ever lets um, his facade slip, the only time where he gets angry is not when someone insults him, but when someone insults his son. Yeah. It's the only thing he cares about. <laughs> that he, he, quite frankly, at this point, doesn't give a shit about himself, and no, what people doesn't. say. He knows that no one can kill him. Yeah. Yes, it yes, is. That's we do have to stand here, though, for the power shot. <laughs> oh, so I'll go into photo mode, Carl. Let's do it. Just the power shot. Just the Instagram self. Oh, the Instagram! <laughs> like, white girls on Instagram would fucking give their left nut for this bastard. They Look would. how good this shot looks. Let's do it. No, no son. Look at that, Sing <laughs> single dad living. Like, Kratos um, photoshopping his kids out of his Tinder profile. Yeah, that's the one. She's like, that's honestly, his... I'm a cool, cool single guy. Yeah, cool single guy. He's got a beard. He's bald, but he's owning it. Yeah. Doing his... Yeah! Love it. That's wrong. <laughs> oh, God damn it, R2. I keep pressing R2 to sprint. I'm so sorry, everyone. We also as well, we got a shit ton of XP for that. Oh, shit. Um, Sweet. So you know what? Uh, let's just upgrade our boy. Let's just make our boy super powerful, because I don't give a shit. Like, magic combat wants to be more powerful. Greatly increase arrow damage and melee damage. Is the like, next one the recharge time? Oh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, Fire always there. increase your boy. Make your yeah. boy more powerful at all times, and then I can increase... Shield combat, so sprinting barehanded. Oh, I'll take that. Running haymaker, that'll do. Why not? It's just handy. It's similar to like the one with the axe, where when you're sprinting towards enemies, just yes. pressing R1 is always a really good, just like, um, uh, just opener for combat. What we got? I always find it weird that his dagger is so conveniently sized for those, um, those little heads. But then you remember that his mum made it. Oh, no, I know, yeah. Oh, no, sorry, it's um, Kratos made it under the specification of his mom. Yes. Right. The woods with the blood red leaves. South yep. of the lake. I know just where to go. Oh, God. I love having my um, uh, maps on. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah. You seem nice. How often do you reckon Kratos would just get lost? All the time. Also, we can teleport back. Before. I'm climbing back now. Because I know what we get to do after this. Um, and there's stuff on the way, right? Do we have to go down? Please tell me there's a climbing thing. I really want to climb because you get to do the um, the rope. I thought... Yeah, I could have sworn there was like the little rope. Oh, for fuck's sake, it was in R2 to sprint. <laughs> Damn it, Spider-Man. Fuck it, I guess we're going through here. So maybe this is like a forced one to go through. Because it's the, the one you go through without Mimir, where he can't tell you that you're not supposed to jump off the edge. Right, yeah. I guess we're going back to Brock's shot. Oh, loading screen. Every time, loading screen. I can't 
came to our house. The Acer guy. Ah, oh, sure. I kicked his ass. Him, what a bitch. Yes. One of Odin's sons, Thor's brother. And now he's hunting us with his nephews. Why is this happening? If we can raise the head, you can ask him. Okay. I love how casual Kratos is. You know, so you be um, Balder, one of the physically strongest Norse gods, I guess they really in a physical them. test of strength, and he's like, yeah, whatever. Yeah, it's like it. Atreus being freaked the fuck out. My dad just like beat the shit out of a god, and Kratos is just like a son, you don't know anything. Yeah. Like, you haven't heard the half of it. Uh, if you had the ability to see past the fourth wall, like Mimir seems to be able to do, and you could mm. tell what the title of his game was, you'd know. <laughs> yes, sir. He's like, uh, Mamiya knows everything, doesn't he? Whoa. Yeah. And he like makes reference to things that he couldn't possibly know. It's great, I love it. So he knows Kratos from his days um, uh, as the Ghost of Sparta, which is very scary. Because he's that... heard tales of the legendary, like, the God of War in yeah. Greece. I love that. I'm glad that he gets a break. I'm yeah. glad that, you know, Brock's taking time out for self-care. That's important. It's important for people to, like, you know, take care of themselves. Especially, uh, you know, as well, yeah, a blacksmith, is he? Yeah. Good. yeah. It's not what I was How is he not hungry? You think like, the, like, that, that, that seems like time. really fucking tiring work if you don't get a break. I'm just knackering. She's constantly swinging round. Yeah. <laughs> like this, what, like, 10 pound lump hammer? Carl, there's a reason that he's like a wide boy. Yeah, there's a reason as well he's so short. It's just all that heavy lifting. He's been doing it since the age of three, Carl. Stunted growth. I also I like, it's really cute how big the axe is compared to him. Mm. That must be really hard for them. Because like, they're dwarves, they're shorter than ordinary people. Like, and they're definitely shorter than the gods, because the gods all seem to be quite tall. Mm -hmm. um, like, they're making weapons for them. So it's weapons that they'll never use, and that's something I think Sindri says it at one point, doesn't he? Like dwarves are magical, so they don't actually have to ever use the weapons that we make. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So there's nothing new we can buy yet. Uh, nothing we can upgrade. I do love the fact that like, I didn't notice on my playthrough, but when you pointed out, yeah, every time they tap it, you just get a plus one. Just plus one. It's as if they're just showing. So it is. First one's free. Yeah. So I'm thinking of just upgrading the like. I just mean. Actually, no. It wasn't the ones of focus, was it? It was the uh, the scale braces. Oh, we need, we need four to upgrade it. Are we all upgrade it once? Yeah, I did. I upgraded those once, didn't I? I could upgrade those again, which will increase our strength. Like The upgrade doesn't barely seems worth it for those. So I think yeah. I'll wait for a bit longer. I think God can... damn it, every fucking time! <laughs> I'm so sorry. I think when... we can wait, because I feel like we've got a lot of stuff going on, but we're not getting really damaged by enemies too much. No, the only time I'm getting damaged is when I'm just stood there trying to just parry them on purpose to be a dick. I think right. in this game it's quite um, easy to wait until yeah. later on to wait for upgrades. So like cool. as long as you've got a couple of enchantment sockets, you're not too bad. Nothing's that much of a threat. No. There's really nothing you in the game that's that Thor's scary. Legs. Oh, go enter Thor's legs, Carl. I'm gonna do it. What's that? Yeah. Is that another story? One more. Yeah, of course I've got a fucking Scorpion story. Who wished to travel to the other side of Scorpion the, the Frog. Love this Why? one. If you continue to interrupt, I will end the story. <laughs> okay, okay. The scorpion asked the frog for help. He so we won't talk through cuts. We'll talk through cuts, but I'm not interrupting the battle story. Back, he would be rewarded. The frog protested, fearing the scorpion would sting him. The scorpion assured the frog that he would not sting him, or they would both drown in the river. The frog agreed, but halfway across the river, the scorpion stung him. The frog was mortally wounded. And they both sunk to the bottom of the river and perished. That's sad. Why would the scorpion do that? He was a scorpion. It is his nature to do harm. Oh. That's just what mom used to say about the gods. Your mother always spoke the truth. <laughs> <laughs> she was never, whenever she was shit talking the gods, she's always right. 